Hi there, I'm Terrence Gutberlet, and today we're going to walk through how to set up your space for an online proctored exam. We're going to cover your workspace and your webcam, your testing environment and your internet connection, and we're going to talk about some things that you need to do to prepare your computer for the exam too. But we're going to start by talking about your immediate testing area. To take the ARE, you're going to need to have your computer on a hard surface, like a desk or a table. You want to make sure that you clear everything from that surface that you won't need for testing. The only things you'll want visible on your workspace are your computer, your monitor, your keyboard, mouse and mouse pad, and any necessary cords. So other items like a book, water bottle, pen or notepad, you'll want to remove those before testing. You'll also need to clear your space of any non-essential computer accessories. So many of you might have, have a setup where you have an external monitor plugged into a laptop. You won't be able to use multiple monitors or a docking station while taking the ARE. And your laptop will need to be closed during the exam, which means you'll need to have an external keyboard and mouse in order to take the exam. Now let's get into the requirements for your broader testing environment. There are three key things to look out for, privacy, visibility, and the organization of the room. Your testing space must be private and indoors. There can't be any other people or pets in the room with you. If possible, you want to test in a space with a door that can be closed in order to minimize disruptions. If the room you're testing in has an entry that doesn't have a door, be sure to cover that with bed sheets or paper of some kind. If you have windows or glass partitions that either give you a view of other people or that give them a view of you, then you'll need to pull down the blinds, close the curtains, or cover them up in some other way. And if you're not sure the windows provide the privacy required, then go ahead and cover them just to be safe. Your testing space should be uncluttered and organized in such a way as to leave you free from distractions. Be sure to remove any study materials, papers, or notes from the room before your test. If you have something like a large shelf or a series of large bookcases, like in my space here, you can cover them up with a sheet or a linen. Other items, a pair of shoes, a stereo setup, potted plants perhaps, you'll also want to cover up or temporarily remove those types of objects too. Finally, check to make sure that the space you're testing in is well lit, so that the proctor has a clear view of you and your surroundings. Let's talk about the webcam. You will need an external webcam to take the exam. You should position it in a way that will allow the Prometric proctors to see your head and shoulders at all times. When you first get started with your exam appointment, be ready for instructions from that proctor who will ask you to pick up your camera in order to give them a full 360 degree view of your space. Now, a helpful tip is to leave the webcam cable free of obstructions. This will make it easier to move around. You're going to have to provide a view of the back of your monitor, a view of under your desk, and the cords connected to your computer, just to make sure it's not connected to anything unnecessary for testing. NCARB doesn't recommend any specific webcams, but you can find the necessary requirements in our ARE 5.0 guidelines. With your workspace, testing environment, and computer setup ready to go, you should also be sure to check your internet connection, your bandwidth, and your screen resolution before your appointment. Online tools can help you with this, and you should run a test at the same time of day as your exam appointment. We recommend using an ethernet connection during your appointment to minimize Wi-Fi disruptions, but if you have to use Wi-Fi, be sure to limit other uses of it in your space if you can. That's all for today. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments or ask us on the ARE 5.0 online community. Thanks.